Welcome back to Juice's Arthropods, and today we're going to try a new little format here. It's not going to be the only format we use, but we wanted to just try out a little something with our species spotlight. And today our guest is the Idrotus ventricosus, or the hairy robot beetle. So what we want to do is just start showcasing some of the different species that you may or may not be aware of. So we'll get into the format. As we mentioned, today was the Adrotus ventricosus. Uh, these little cuties are primarily in southwest United States, so they do prefer a very dry and desertous slash arid climate. Uh, key factors here is make sure that these guys do not get wet. Treat them like you would the Horrid King Assassin bugs. And definitely don't put out a water dish because these little adorable bastards, they might be filled with, uh, look like they've got their own life preservers on, but they 100% will unfortunately drown. Their meals in the wild cons uh, consist entirely of salt grass, Russian thistle, and wild onions, but with or the captive bred ones that you will find, or sometimes unfortunately wild caught that sometimes people are selling as well, uh, they will eat lettuce, uh, kale, anything that you would typically give any of your roaches will be totally fine with these guys. For the level of care with them, I've diagnosed these as beginner. Honestly, they are so easy to take care of. Besides roaches, you literally cannot find an easier pet. If you raised blue feigning death beetles, uh, these guys are exact same care, but replace the protein with pure plants. And the last question I'd like to ask myself is, why do I enjoy this creature? Well, have you freaking seen these guys? They're like if a ladybug or decided to attempt a goth phase and became vegan. They are the cutest little creatures you will ever see. They're fuzzy. They're all black. They uh, do little chittering noises to each other, which is super freaking cute. And I just absolutely love them. Super easy to take care of little desert beetles. And you guys know how much I love a cute goth looking bug. I hope you guys enjoyed this very short segment, and these guys will be available shortly. They are part of my new breeding program, and I'm hoping to have these out to you within, I would say, the next month or two. So be on the lookout. Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.